Hello and welcome to Adulting Without Supervision. My name is Matthew and today we will be reviewing my 2014 Dodge Charger RT. Well, we found the crack. Oh, these are my gutters. Cracks. I was kidding about this. Hey everybody, it looks pretty simple. Day two or three. Continue making sure that's got a good seal to it. The 2014 Charger RT comes equipped with a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 mated to a 5 speed automatic transmission. 5.7 liter Hemi V8 puts out 370 horsepower and 395 foot pounds of torque. The 5 speed automatic transmission in the Charger RT, called the NAG 1, has the ability to let you select what gear it goes into by left for downshifting and right for upshifting and then it also comes equipped with paddle shifters and to shift it back into drive you hold it right or upshift and it will slip back in the drive so I've owned my charger for about four years now I've done a few mods to it it's been a fun car since day one within a month of owning it I went ahead and got a catback exhaust from Flowmaster I have a Flow FX catback exhaust from Flowmaster. I also have a Flowmaster Delta Force intake. It is an open top air intake. Originally I planned on getting a Ram Air hood and I didn't see any point in getting a hood with a scoop if it wasn't going to be functional. So I got an open top air intake. If you are not going to go that route, I recommend that you go ahead and get an enclosed air box as that will give you better performance open top intakes can tend to let hot air in through the top if the seal is not a hundred percent. I also have a set of power stop brakes front and back with carbon fiber brake pads. I also have a set of LED fog lights on my car. They're very bright. I was able to buy them off of Amazon for around forty dollars. Originally they were intended to be put on a Jeep but Dodge put the same fog lights on a lot of their products for a number of years. So the 2014 Chargers have the same fog lights as the 2018 Jeeps. And the LED lights for Jeeps are a lot cheaper than ones that just say intended for the Charger. But they both fit the Chargers and the Jeeps. Some of the things I've done in the interiors, basic steering wheel cover that I got from O'Reilly's. Off of Amazon, I was able to buy this red trim and it just slides right in there. You can see from right here that it's basically just pushed into the gap between. It adds a bit to the interior, I think, so I like it very much. And the infotainment center, the charger has both AM, FM, radio, as most vehicles do, it has satellite radio. You have a aux cord and Bluetooth. It does have a disk drive which surprisingly enough if your car is parked you can slip a DVD in there and watch a movie. The car also has heated seats for both driver and passenger and to get to the sport mode under the controls tab is right here. So you can turn it on in sport. Sport mode's on. You get a little sport message and down here 
it's in green saying sport with a flag and with standard climate control options where you can just raise the temperature it is dual climate so you can raise up the temperature higher or lower on one side depending on if your passenger wants it to be colder or hotter on their preference you can also activate the heated seats which then pops over to the control tab yet again the navigation it's a very good navigation system in the charger it's the uconnect system which is one of my favorites that i've had in any car um, one of the options you can do is you can have more detail so you can display elevation which direction you're driving in the time how fast you're going and when you're on a road with a speed limit it will tell you the speed limit but mine's out of date I haven't had it updated since the car was purchased so don't if you get a used charger don't go by what the speed limit on the GPS says look for the road signs I've nearly gotten a speeding ticket because the car told me speed limit was 55 on a road when in actuality it was 35 onto the controls for both climate recirculation you can turn the AC off and on you have your hazard lights here and you have the front and rear defrosters and trash control which when you press to turn off it'll show up on the dash it also has automatic headlights which you can control manually the brightness of the dash via this dial down here you can change how bright it is you can have it dim all the way down you can have bright it a lot brighter for nighttime driving for those who want extra illumination and also to activate the in cabin lights you press the dial up even more it'll make a light click and then the interior lighting will turn on and the back seat of the car is also very roomy. I'm about 5'11", and my head comes right up to the top of it. And I've still got plenty of leg room in here. It's a it's very comfortable car. Um, it's comfortable in the front and back for long drives. It has rear AC and a plug in the back, so you can plug in a car charger for long road trips. It also has a armrest for the backseat passengers and the vehicle also has if I can find it back fast through so you can load bigger things in the back of the truck or back of the car than what you would think and both sides do go down and to put it back in you just slam it back in and then it's ready to go that's been the interior and exterior of my 2014 Dodge Charger RT do a quick shot of the whole car once around